So, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I noticed this game was on sale on Steam. I believe it's 67% off, so you can grab it for about 20 quid. You can even get the bigger edition for like £7 more or something like that. And I just wanted to revisit because I absolutely love this game. Ever since it first released, I picked it up on day one. The story was incredible. I think it lasted about 50, 60 hours or something like that. It was a very, very long story. And the game got online, started getting updates and stuff, some new content coming in, even though it took a very, very long time. And then out of nowhere, Rockstar say, right, well, we're not going to do anything with the game anymore besides like a couple of updates here and there. We're going to focus on other titles. And I believe that is GTA 6 for whenever they do get that released. But I just, I felt like giving this game some love, coming back, playing it for a little bit, because it really didn't deserve the fate that it got. Like, I mean, it, on Xbox, on the Series X, it didn't even ever get a 60 FPS update. And that's what I'm playing on now. I'm on the Series X. And I'm just trying to find my way over to grab this wagon. So what we're going to do is just chill. We're going to play this for a little bit. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you're interested, go on Steam and grab it on sale if you've got a PC. And I think it's going to take me a while to actually get to that wagon. Okay, so I finally made my way to the other side. I just need to figure out how I'm going to get to the wagon. I don't know why the game's put it in such an awkward position. Did we just make our way up here? Okay, there's a couple of enemies around it. I do need to grab that wagon off them, though. If I can find my way up. It doesn't help that it's dark. Okay, I had to go the other way. I started going the wrong direction again. But I found a way onto the road. So we should be able to make it to the wagon very, very soon. Here we go, we're coming up on it. Uh, yeah, you ain't getting away with that. I need that wagon, thank you. Where's the guy? There we go, got them all. So I'm gonna jump off, I'm gonna get on the wagon, and I'm gonna get my horse to follow. Hopefully this goes well. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. We've got 10 minutes to get back. We're probably gonna have a little bit of traffic from the enemies. I'm so bad at driving these. The amount I've tipped over and destroyed is unbelievable, and we've got a little bridge here. I'm going to take it nice and easy over this bit. We should have plenty of time to get back. And we've actually got a route so we can stick to the road. There we go. Make it across. Nice. I need to take it easy because I am so, so bad in these. But as soon as we've got this, we get some supplies. We get our production up and running again. I mean, we won't be able to do a trader sale in this video. I've only got 67 goods. We need to get up to 100. And I believe it's two minutes per good. So that would be a little over an hour to actually get that filled up. But I think what we will do is drop this off. And we've got enough supplies to keep it going. So... I think we just sit there, chill, and do a little bit of fishing. Because that's something I really, really enjoy in this game as well. Right, I need to take it easy again. We might not get any trouble. We've got eight minutes to make it back. Oh no, oh no, what have you done to me, game? Why am I going this way? I'm guessing it's the fastest route, but it's 100% not the safest. Ah! What is the game doing to me? I'm going to lose it. I've lost it. I've lost it, I've lost it, I've lost it, I've lost it. I've lost it because I fucking died. Oh, you are joking. I'm not going to be able to get that wagon back. Why did the game send me on that path? Oh, this has gone horribly wrong. The worst resupply mission anyone's ever seen. Okay, they haven't... For some reason, they haven't fallen off the edge. 
But I guarantee when I get back on, they will fall. And I'm running out of time while this is happening. So if my character could stop being an idiot... What a path to put me on. Me, of all people, as well. I'm not going to be able to get back on, am I? Okay, I have. So if I'm able to make it down here, why did I fall off? And there's a big, big gap there. Oh, that is so risky. We've somehow managed to do that. Come on. Come on. Round the corner nicely. Come on, you two. You can do it. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's given me the absolute worst route it could have possibly given me. Okay, hopefully at this stage we are safe. No more little river crossings and things like that. I need my horse to keep up. We've got less than six minutes to get back and someone put a tree there. No, stop it. I've had an absolutely horrible time doing that. Okay, we seem to be somewhat safe at this stage. And if you guys enjoy Red Dead Redemption 2 content, I'm more than happy to come back to this game. If there's something you've got in mind, just let me know. Okay, we're now seeing the camp symbol. So I, I believe we should be safe at this point. There's the uh, area that we're going to drop this off in. Just don't be a massive hill with loads of stones and stuff. There we go, done it. That was the scariest resupply mission I think I've ever done. Shut up, creeps. Okay, we've got some XP, 20 units of materials. Let's have a look. So we're operational again. Our materials, we've got over half. And we're at 67 goods. So if we let that build up, where is the nearest bit of water? I mean, we could go to the bottom of Caliban Sea. I forgot which baits to use, like, based on the different, like, bodies of water that you're fishing in. But, let's head out. If we find any animals on the way, I will happily kill them. And then eventually return them to camp. And it'd be nice if the game could, uh, become daytime. What is the time? So it's, uh, 10 to 4 in the morning. Yeah. Oh, last second, as we get to the river, we find a white-tailed buck, but there's only one star, so it's pointless. Okay, I'm just trying to think of where it's going to be best down here. And watch me chuck a line in, sit there for ages and not catch anything. I think here seems to be a nice little spot. Okay, we can just use the... Uh the special river lure. I've seen the, the fish jump already. The thing is, I forgot the best way to start reeling. You can see fish. You can see a couple of little ones down there. First cast, absolutely nothing. That was a failed cast. I uh, I totally didn't forget you have to hold down the right trigger to cast. There we go, that's better. So come on, give me something. Please. Oh, fish on! Fish on! What do we get? 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 A four pound, three ounce smallmouth. I'm going to keep you. I'm going to move over a little bit to the left. Cast out again. Here we go. So just keep doing a constant reading action. Every, every now and then, you have to flick it. And then there you go. Fish on, just like that. In you come. 
Is it another small map? I think it is. Four pound, two ounce. I'm going to keep you as well. You were too slow trying to hook the fish. You are joking. Okay, we go out again. I can't believe I was too slow. It barely did anything. I don't even think it bit. There we go. Fish on. Is there going to be another small mouth? Is that all we're going to catch? Come on, in you come. Okay, what size is this one? Four pound, five ounce. So they're all around the same sort of size. I think we'll go for two more. I used to love going up to, is it Oak Creek's Pond or something like that? And going for the sockeye salmon. I don't know if you can still do it up there, whatever the place is called. But you used to be able to just walk into the water and you'd be able to push the salmon to the shore. Like just with your feet, just walking into them. And uh, yeah, they would suffocate and die. Where is it? It's up at the top. Oak Creek's Run, that's what it's called. That little body of water there, amazing for sockeye salmon. So in we go again. Nice long cast. Look, you can see them just swimming in front of us. Get an invite to a moonshine shack. There's 24 other players in this uh, lobby. It's nice to see that people still play this game. Come on, look, there's a whole school of you there. Okay, we go back out. That's a few casts in a row with nothing. See splashes on the right-hand side. Come on. Just give me a little nibble. Come on, here we go. There we go, fish on. Come on, that's it. In you come. Please don't start fighting. Don't start fighting. I said don't start fighting. Come on. That's it. We've got another one. That's fish number four. Four pound, four ounces. Let's see. Holy shit. Five pound, eight ounces. By far the biggest one. Over a pound bigger. 100% keeping that. I'll just keep them all in my satchel and then just go and sell them at some point. I think anything under four pound and I chuck it back. I mean, this is going to be fish number five, so this will actually be the last one for now. Come on, get a nibble. The lovely lure, shiny. No, oh, I was, I was too quick, hasty, impatient. Okay, we go out again. I mean, it'd be nice if something would bite. There's a few casts in a row with nothing. Ever since I was impatient. And look, they're right in front of my feet. I could literally put my hands in and pick them up. Come on, swim to me. Go on. Yes, fish on. No, don't try fighting it. Don't try fighting it. You ain't getting away from me. Got a feeling this one's like £4.10. What are you? I was an entire pound off with my estimate. That's bigger than the last one as well by two ounces. They are fucking huge. So how many have I got? I'm gonna put the uh gonna put the rod away. There we go, put that away in the bag. Let's get the satchel out. I've literally just got five. I don't have any others in my satchel. I've got a bunch of uh, big game meat in there. This is recent stuff. I've not played in a long, long time. I think my last video was close to the beginning of the year. 
So that was a little revisit to Red Dead Redemption 2. Absolutely love this game and I'm gutted that they didn't carry on doing stuff with it. They didn't do a 60 FPS patch for the consoles and they've said they're not going to do anything else with the game really. Like they'll probably do the weekly or monthly updates where you get bonus XP and money in certain events and things like that. But other than that, we're done with Red Dead Redemption 2 and online. Like the story was incredible. Online had a rocky launch. They picked it back up, then they started drip feeding stuff all the time, and it just went downhill from there. Then they just said, like, we're done with it, and we're moving on. And I think it's really, really bad, because there's just so many people that play this game, so many people that love it. Nowhere near as much as, like, GTA, but this game deserved way better than what it actually got from Rockstar. And on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.